Do yourself a favor by right clicking everything. You'd be amazed the type of context menus that you'd be able to uncover by doing so. So what indeed is a context menu? Well, context menu allows you easy, quick functionality and navigation simply by right clicking. So right now I'm going to hop over into my personal developer instance and I have the admin role. So there are three types of context menus in this list. So if you go to the title bar and you right click here in the title bar, you will bring up this context menu. Let's zoom in so you can get a better view. So speaking of view, you have options for various view. You have the default view, indicator panels, major incidents, mobile, portal, self-service, service operations workspace, statement of work landing page, text search, and workspace. You can also go to filters. Filters, there are already some predefined filters that you can access. And if you have personal filters, you can also access, access those. You can also group your information. You can show the list based on the number of rows per page. You can go from 10 to 100, keeping in mind that the larger the rows per page, the slower the upload speed would be. You can also refresh the list and you can create favorites. Now, so that is the list context menu. We also have column context menu. So I'm going to come over to this priority column, right click here. And as you see, you can sort from ascending to descending. You can create or show a visual task board, group by priority. So as the name suggests, context. So group by priority, that came up because I am in the priority column. You can even create simple reports bar chart, pie chart, you can launch interactive analysis, you can configure a menu, import and export, and then do a few other things with the data in your list. Now keep in mind that I am in the admin role, so the functionality that I have is unique to my particular role. Let's go over to the field context menu. So I'm in a particular field. I'm going to right click. Let's zoom in to see what functionality we are able to access. We can show matching. So if I were to click this, I would see others incidents that are that have the critical priority. I can filter out, copy URL to clipboard, copy sys ID, assign tags, archive record, assign to me, follow on live feed, show live feed and add to visual task board. Just for fun, let's select show matching. And as you see here, we have all of our priority one incidents right here before us. Now, as I mentioned that the context menu, it's important to understand that not only do you access it through right clicking, it's also important to know that the context is important. It tells you what you'll be able to see within that particular view. It is also based upon role. So right now, as I mentioned, I have the admin role. When you look at the admin role, I'm going to go back to a column context menu for priority. If you notice, I'm able to manipulate this data. I'm able to configure a list, import data, and export. Let's zoom in so you can get a better view of this. I can also update selected, update all, data management, create application files, import XML, and show XML. This is what I'm able to do as an admin. I'm going to go over and impersonate a user so we can take a look at what this looks like when I'm not in an admin role. So I'll impersonate Beth Anglin. And we will go back to take a look at the incident list. And I was just there, so I'm accessing it through going to my history menu. Okay, so here we are in the incident list as Beth Anglin. I'm going to return to priority. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to right click to bring up the context menu. And as you see, the context is quite a bit different than when I was in the admin role. I'm still able to create some quick reports, the bar chart, the pie chart, launch interactive analysis. But I'm able to export, but all of the other functionality has now been removed. Let me go back and end this impersonation. End impersonation. All right, so we're back in admin view. 
All right, so I wanted to take a closer look at this. So as an admin versus a non-admin for the context menu, I'm able to configure, import, export, update selected, and a number of other things as an admin. However, in a non-admin role, that is pretty much limited. I'm able to still create the reports, as I mentioned, but all of the manipulation of the data becomes quite restricted. So keep this in mind when you're working with context menus. They are great for accessing easy functionality simply by right-clicking. Now be sure you stay tuned for the next video where we uncover the power of the list editor. I'll see you there. Let's go.